Hi, I'm Penny Panda. Here at PNA Headquarters, we get thousands of calls a year asking us about the who, what, when, and how of flexible spending accounts. Let's start with what and when. First, you determine how much money to put into your flexible spending account for the upcoming plan year. The best way to do this is to estimate the expenses you will incur in the coming year. Keep in mind that the annual maximum and minimum election amounts are determined by your employer. Please check with them to find out what your company's limits are. Next, you sign up for your FSA only during your open enrollment period. This is also known as the once a year election rule. Then your employer will use the amount you decided to set aside in your FSA for the year and divide that amount by the number of paychecks you receive in the plan year. For example, let's say that you want to set aside $520 as your annual election and you get paid on a bi-weekly basis. Your employer will divide $520 by 26 paychecks, which is $20 each paycheck. That amount will be deducted from your paycheck on a pre-tax basis. Because this deduction is taken pre-tax, your bi-weekly take-home pay only goes down by $14. One of the great features of this account is that you have complete access to your full annual election amount on the first day of the plan year, regardless of what's actually been withheld from your paychecks. This feature acts like a line of credit. People love that they can use their flex spending plan to budget their expenses as opposed to having to pay them all at once. And that brings us to the who of FSAs. When you make your annual election, you want to estimate the expenses that you and your eligible dependents will incur over the course of your upcoming plan year. Eligible dependents may include your spouse, children, domestic partner, or your parents. For more detailed information about who qualifies as an eligible dependent, click here on the page. As we all know, whenever there is a government-sponsored program, which is what a flexible spending account is, there are rules we have to follow. Rule number one. Once enrolled in the plan, you can only change your annual election amount if you experience a qualifying event, including marriage, divorce, or the birth of a child. Rule number two, and this is the big one. There is an IRS rule that says any unspent dollars in an FSA will be forfeited if you don't spend all of your FSA money by the end of the plan year. So please be conservative when estimating the amount of money you wish to set aside in your account and budget for predictable expenses. If you have unspent dollars left in your account toward the end of the plan year, the friendly pandas at PNA will send you a notice reminding you to spend those remaining funds. Okay, did you get all that? There will be a quiz later. Just kidding.